Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day here at Furion in Elkhart, Indiana. Behind me is something pretty incredible. You are definitely seeing that right. That is a helicopter on top of the RV. And not only is there a helicopter, but there's a hot tub there. I'm just outside of the RV Hall of Fame here in Elkhart, Indiana. And across the way here is Furion. I'm really thankful to Border Coach Leasing for hooking me up with this tour bus so I can come get all of this content for you guys, but we've got something special here today. A huge thanks to Dean Lauk's Fine Art for sponsoring today's video. I'm in turtle mode. I really wanna focus on the turtles for a year. They are endangered. It's interesting to see how many eggs are laid, how many turtles go in the sea, and then how many actually survive later. I'm gonna have many of my pieces down in Florida. That's where I'll be doing my work over the winter time. And I'd love to set up an appointment and meet you if you would like to have a painting. You can visit the shop in Elkhart, Indiana. You can always call the shop at 574-522-8838. Now, this RV is not in production, but it's a way for Furion to showcase all of the cool components that they put into RVs. Uh, those of you that don't know Furion, they're one of the major suppliers of RV components. I've just gotta say the styling of this whole facility is just really incredible. They are being very strict on uh, social distancing and mask rules, but uh, they gave me an appointment and I've got this whole place to myself here this morning, so I'm very appreciative to them for that. So. Before we take a look in this RV, I wanna show you a couple of their components that they put into a lot of the RVs that are on the road right now. So obviously you'll see a lot of the televisions, a lot of these really good looking fireplaces that you see in the coaches, those are Furion as well. So everything from backup cameras to marker lights, appliances, all kinds of stuff. They're really cutting edge in design and I'm really impressed with all of the design that they do for all of these components. Different types of fireplaces. So you, you can see the different levels of fireplaces here. So many different cool components. And the thing that, that I notice about all Furion stuff is it's very aesthetically pleasing. Today, we're here to see that. Now this is a concept RV, so it's not in production, but looks like there's a huge digital screen on the outside of the RV that will light up. That is really cool. I would like to see more RVs doing huge TVs so you don't have an entertainment bay, you would just have a huge TV on the side of the coach. A lot of you saw a few weeks ago when I was out here in Elkhart, Indiana, I got a chance to go on a helicopter ride with Dean Lauk. Now, I don't know if that helicopter would fit on the roof of this coach, but I'm definitely giving them points for design here. Huge windows on the outside, and that's what I really wanna see, a hot tub on the roof. Whoa, this is super nice. Wow, so this really feels like I'm in like a yacht, a high-end yacht. Check out the driver's area here. I really like this. Almost like a honeycomb print on the stitching. I've seen that in like Lamborghinis and high-end automobiles. Huge digital screens here. And then another, I really like the location of this backup camera because you've got your large windshield and you actually have two backup cameras here. So 
the nice thing about the nice thing about these backup cameras is they're directly at eye level. I'm gonna sit down here and try to get a feel for this. This th this feels like I'm in like the cockpit of a spaceship right now. So when I'm at eye level right now, looking at the road, these cameras are directly in my line of vision. And the same thing with that camera over there, which this GoPro isn't gonna pick up as much as the human eye can, but I can see that crystal clear. What do you guys think? Could you guys see me rolling something like this? I think I need a lot more zeros at the end of my bank account. And this isn't in production, but someday, ladies and gentlemen. Allison transmissions. I do believe this actually really runs and drives because it does have all of the components that you would need to run and drive. This is a design like unlike anything I've ever seen, a nice window up there. And I really like the straight lines on the ceiling and the floors in this coach really remind me of a high end yacht. This is one of the most impressive RVs I've ever been in. If this was in production, I would definitely be saving my pennies. Literally this, this does not feel like an RV at all. This feels like a high end yacht, huge sofa over there. And I like the front kitchen. I don't see too many front kitchen floor plans because of weight on the front axle. Furion really knows what they're doing when they're designing coaches. The huge refrigerator and everything just looks so sleek. Love the look of the Furion fireplaces. I've been commenting on those for a long time in a lot of my videos. It's just, there's something about the aesthetic look of them that just really lightens the room wine cooler there this is just over the top high end check out this shower you've got a huge i believe that's a shower head it's a like a rainforest shower head up there and then your normal shower head and look at all of those controls a digital temperature control it looks like those are all jets. So two, four, six, eight. I think you've got about 10 jets and then a speaker in the shower as well. They're trying to make your shower experience as comfortable as possible. And I really like the design of the floor as well, how it's that same teak kind of a look with a teak bench seat there. Check out that toilet too. I know my buddy Matt's RV Reviews did a video on this and he did the toilet test so he'll be honest with you they really nailed it with this coach this is just so cool to be in we're gonna go up there but first let's take a look back here let's check out these stairs too even the lighting on the stairs everything about this coach is is really impressive this is so high end back here i really like the colors that they're using the carpet rear facing bed very simple but just a neat industrial modern contemporary feel oh look what's on the tv here and there it is there's a video that's what we're about to see we're about to go on the roof but let's watch this video really quickly of this helicopter landing on the r is it landing while it's rolling this is too cool i don't think that would be safe okay they stopped it to land but <laughs> great job furion that's a great commercial there all right, let's go upstairs here. This is what it's all about. That's a real helicopter. Yeah, that definitely has all of the cockpit controls. It seems like it's a real helicopter. I don't know if it actually functions, but it definitely seems like it. This definitely takes the cake for the coolest RV roof ever. It's got guard rails here around the side safety rails and then a hot tub on the roof with a cool uh, kind of like a sunbathing deck as well can you guys believe this please drop a comment below what do you think this rv would cost if it was in production this is just so over the top i wouldn't even know where to start five million ten million who knows but this is just over the top it's got led lighting all around the sides so you roll in you land your helicopter on this pad right here now i don't think there's a lot of margin for air there and i'm not sure how that all works but uh that's a helicopter and i don't know how heavy this helicopter is but I'm assuming it's pretty light. My one minor concern is, is going down the road with a helicopter. I don't know if that would be safe because it'd be pretty high, but I think this would be more for 
you just fly your helicopter into the racetrack, hang out at your RV when the race is over, fly out in your helicopter, definitely the way to do it. Really? So it is set up to be able to go down the road. Thank you. A huge thanks to Taylor at Furion for explaining the helicopter to me. This actually has a deck that actually goes down and it basically folds in so that the rotor is sticking out and the helicopter actually drops down. So it is actually designed to be able to go down the road with the helicopter. These guys are definitely thinking outside of the box here. This is just really impressive. Now I'm not gonna sit in the hot tub, but my buddy Matt's RV reviews, he sat in the hot tub. So you can check out that video if you want to see him uh, doing the toilet test and checking out the hot tub. Tell you what though, I will sit down on this little sunbathing deck here. I can hang out here for a while, guys. This is super comfortable. Matt, I think there's enough room for a, a party up here. We could, we could have all kinds of people up here. Endless RVing, Matt's RV reviews. This, this is the way to do it. This has got to be the coolest RV I've ever seen. I mean, hands down. If you guys have ever seen an RV cooler than this, please drop a comment below, but this is going to be hard to beat. And there's only a few slide outs. So this is actually only a double slide out rig but it really feels huge. It's like a combination between like a high-end rooftop pool party and hanging out with Dean Lauchs going on a helicopter ride. Definitely good vibes here. A huge thanks to the folks at Furion for letting me take a look at this coach. I wish I could just hang out in this RV all day, but there's so much more to see. I greatly appreciate all of you liking these videos, subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.